right guys this is the uh, the green version of my quartz nails from the other day so this is going to be on my non-dominant this is going to be on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand um, I'm just custom mixing a colour at the moment because the green that I've got is quite neon and I want more of a pastel colour so I'm mixing a little blank slate with some lime green give it a little test that's the lime green just for reference and that's the color mixed which at the moment's not pale enough I think I'll go in with some mega white in a second just to make it a little bit paler it's slightly more transparent than the original green as well just to give it a softer look Yeah, I'll just finish this up and uh, let you watch and then we'll crack on. So I've got my custom green that I've mixed. I've got blank slate, I've got mega white and I've got uh, pure black, all from Nail Nails. So, and I'm working on top of a sculpted nail, really thin uh, sculpted nail that I've taken down to a thin clay base. I'm just going to start applying from the cuticle, doing a double dip at the beginning and blending that down just to get a nice crisp cuticle. And then I'm just going to work quite wet and uh, double dip, sometimes double dip, sometimes uh, pick them up individually and just sort of swirl them around. I'm getting the hang of the marble now. So yeah, I'm just going to let you watch. I'm not going to put any black in the marble. I'm going to do that afterwards. But other than that, I'm using all three colours. So I'll just let you watch. up around the cuticle now and here I come in with some black I'm just going to very lightly sketch some black on and then I'm going to use my wet brush to kind of swipe some away to refine the lines try and get them really nice and crisp and sort of smudge it out just add a little bit of extra definition so I've sped the rest up for you um, I'm going to basically do the same thing but on the um, the ring and the middle finger I'm going to add some glitter like I did on the previous purple set which is on my left hand now. If you've not watched that video feel free to have a look on my channel I'll put a link um, and you can give that a go. That was my first ever attempt um, and this is my second attempt so if you watch both you'll see the improvement. Um, I think I think this one went absolutely much better and the, the results are totally totally different. I was really happy with these green ones. 
Um, if you can notice on my, on my middle finger as well, I've got like a big brown mark on my nail. That's not like a fungus or anything. What it is is I, um, I was wearing some excessively long stilettos and I tried to pick my scarf up and got my fingers caught in the scarf and as I pulled I realised I was still stood on it and it completely bent my entire nail off and left me with a massive blood blister under my nail. So I'm just waiting for that to grow out. So this is why my nails are so short at the moment. <laughs> I don't normally wear them this short. This is very short for me. <laughs> so yeah, lesson learned. I will wear long ones again just when the bruise is gone. Because I'm a sucker for punishment. But they're just so pretty. Can't help myself. It's totally worth it. So yeah, I'll just let you watch these and I'll come back when we're on the ring and middle. I'm going to start off the same and then I'm going to start adding the Barry M glitter which is just beneath my pinky there. It's just a cosmetic glitter that I found in uh, like a makeup shop. It's by Barry M. It's, uh, it's very similar to a chrome. So it's like a unicorn chrome, you know, like the white chromes. It's a very fine see-through chrome kind of. But it looks absolutely lovely embedded. It's got like almost a metallic look to it. So I'm just using that with some clear. I'm just dipping, dipping into clear and then dipping into the glitter like you would with any glitter. I'm just adding that in. I actually had a really nice time doing these nails, just chilling out and doing my own nails. It's nice for a bit of a re relax. It's always relaxing when it's all going to plan. It's not very often, but it is relaxing. <laughs> I hope the quality of this video is a bit better for everybody as well. Um, I've tried to make a bit more of an effort to film correctly. This was, I think, the day after the purple set. Um, like I say, I'm doing my best to improve the quality of the videos. It'll get there. capping them all in blank slate to keep, keep them frosty try and um, smooth out some of the marble a little to make it look a bit more deep if that makes sense add some depth I want it to look like a crystal like you know like uh, like jade stone or something like that and they tend to be quite smoky and frosty in fact is it blank slate or is it natural it might be natural I'll check and I'll put it in the description. I think I might use natural on this one because I used blank slate on the purple and found that it wasn't opaque enough. It's quite sheer, especially when you're working wet. Like if you were to bleed it out, it's probably a little bit more opaque. So I think I use natural, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just get them all capped 
I sped it up because it's a bit boring. With the capping, I tend to uh, put my bead on at the back, right at the cuticle. Tap it around the cuticle and then swipe down the sides first. And then that puts your apex in the right place. And then just smooth down the middle. You don't need to worry about the middle so much. It's them sides. Make sure they're covering everywhere they should be covering and not touching anything they shouldn't be touching. Try and do as much work with the brush as I can so that I don't have to file. Well, obviously I will file, but so that there's less filing. Try to make it as smooth as I can and at the right angle. I like quite a large apex to be fair. Even on a little nail like this. There we go. So I've filed them all and um, I'm ready for top coat and add in my um, metal pieces. So I'm going to do a, some of the nails in matte and some in the glossy top coat that um, Urban Graffiti by Nail Nails do. So my matte ones are going to be the pinky, the index and the thumb. And then the two glitter nails are going to be gloss, which is what this is now. Obviously I'm curing between. And I'll have wiped off the uh, sticky layer off the mat. On the glossy ones, I'm going to add a little of that uh, barium glitter. That I'm using it like a chrome this time. So this is straight out the lamp while it's still warm. I'm just popping some of that on. Just adds a little shimmer. It's really cute. It's absolutely gorgeous on a baby boomer. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Here's the dreaded metal pieces. I sacked off trying to use the nips to pick them up this time. I couldn't, still couldn't find my tweezers, so I just used my nails. <laughs> and I've learnt my lesson on how to apply them now from my previous video. So I'm just popping a little blob of top coat on, putting the metal on and curing it immediately, and then coming back and top coating the entire thing. much much easier I'm getting them perfect because I can't stand them on a wonk there we go so I've cured those and then I'm coming back and um, top coating in the gloss again I'll uh, double top coat these because I've put the chrome on just to make sure none of that chrome chips off You can't see in the video so much, but I'm letting the brush roll around the edge as well to make sure it's fully capped. I'm just checking them, see if they're roughly the same height, see what they look like, making sure all my apexes look nice, having a little assessment of my work before I move on. And then I'll just put some cuticle oil on. Like I said in my previous video, I don't have any preference in cuticle oil other than there being a dropper, because I can't stand um, using a brush. I don't mind so much on my, myself but I think one you don't get enough product and two you don't really want to be dunking the brush back in after you've touched somebody you know especially if you're doing pedicures and such it's not good so I like to use a dropper get absolutely slathered in cuticle oil and then I'll rub the excess off so yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed that video I'll have another one up shortly I'm gonna have some nail art on my next one I think so yeah, I hope you'll come back. If you're not subscribed already, then I'd really appreciate that. And if you could pop a like on the video, that'd be great. And hopefully I shall see you again shortly. Bye-bye.